Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. Today, I find myself wandering around Kansas of all places, Cheney State Park, West Shore area. Yes, we have traveled far north into the great state of Kansas to visit family. I have Little Red. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. And best of all, I have you. So let's go do a virtual tour. Cheney State Park, West Shore area. Get all situated here. All right, cue the music. A Cheney State Park, the West Shore area, is a very expensive park. So we won't be covering all of the paved roads, but most of them. Some of them are uh, exceptionally rough and paved is a very liberal term. But we'll explore the greater portion, the greater, most of the park. That's what I'm trying to say. So we'll go to the right first, all the way down to the boat ramp, and then we'll come back and explore the day use areas, tent camping, and RV loops. It is September 10, 2021. A lot of haze in the atmosphere due to forest fires out on the northwest states. Out in the northwest states. Well, it's not as bright and shiny as I would like, but that is out of my control. This is my first visit to Kansas, so I don't have a whole lot of Kansas trivia to regurgitate. I was quite surprised as uh, we came in, after we crossed Oklahoma and came into Kansas, I've never been to Kansas. And I was really surprised that I-35, part of the Eisenhower Interstate Freeway Project, I, I was surprised that's actually a toll road and a rather expensive one at that. At least for the RVer, it's expensive. There are a lot of toadstool fairy rings in Cheney State Park. Now this is the main boat ramp. I've actually discovered a couple of boat ramps, but this is this is the big boy right here. Courtesy, a three-lane courtesy dock. Well, I guess that would be more than three lanes. That would be six, maybe. There's your big boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, there's quite a bit of day use real estate here at Cheney State Park. And there are a lot of expansion joint type of uh, 
things, cracks in the road, and they are rough. There's one of those toadstool fairy rings. Just a general day use area. It saddens me to say Cheney State Park is one of the most littered campgrounds, or actually one of the most littered parks I've been to. Everywhere you look here in this beautiful, beautiful park, it's, it's full of litter. So to our left, that goes back up to the main road. This is the Geefer Day Use Area. Heck, we'll just cut across instead of doing a loop. That'll save us a little time and battery. I guess we're not supposed to go that way. They're all tent sites here on the left. Apparently this is a beach. There is sand anyway. Friday. The weather's still beautiful. Kind of surprising that there's no uh, there's nobody camping in tents. I wonder if that's the guy that's supposed to be picking up the trash. This is a primitive camping area. Uh, I suppose you could bring an RV in here, but you'd be dry camping. Ooh, rough road, rough road. Like something Scooby Doo would say, rough road, rough road. I get bugs in my mouth. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Can't go too far into that song or I'd get a copyright strike. 
certainly don't want a copyright strike. All right, this is where we'll find the cabin loop for Cheney State Park. It's actually right here on the left. I think it's probably operated by a private vendor, I don't, but I don't know. They're nice looking cabins. They have screen porches. So you can relax on the relax on the screen porch without getting eaten up by bugs. And they have two that are handicap accessible. Checking my battery. Now we gotta do a camera reset. Hold on. Brief pause in front. All right, we're seated and ready to go again. Y'all keep your eyes open as we come through here because. When I came through here scouting things out, my wind muff blew off the Hero 9. So if you see it, give me a holler. Once again, that goes back out to the main road ahead of us. We'll do the toadstool loop west. I think that's a fishing jetty to our right. Uh, it's really grown up with weeds. Running into the wind. I think it's a Bob Seger song, isn't it? turns into a, a nature trail. I actually will have the nature trail on a standalone video. I'll do a little backtracking. to 
correct myself because when I came through here I said that went all the way back out and it does not conversation with you watchers while I'm having to focus on the road put these big cracks in the road they can flip the steering tiller hard one way or the other your trailer dump station It looks like that's a four holer. just passed on the left that takes us back to where we started that's the park exit they have a uh, 18 hole disc golf course at the very end of this road we won't be going there that's a really rough stretch of road that I was telling you about that's one mile of nothing but bumps visit the first of the three RV loops. We're all, and I'm going to go through them in reverse so you can get a good look at the site. deep those bumps are, those ruts, till you actually hit them. Now, I have not yet been down this road. really go anywhere. How about that? I 
thought it was gonna be a, a loop around, not a out and back. Well, that way y'all won't make that same mistake. Since there's not really any signs back here, this one will be an out and back as well. well these are nice under these big trees. Looks like this must be a group area. These are water and electric only. Slow down. I hear you. Slow down, Dave. We can't see the sights. I keep seeing fiber cable terminal boxes it's like this one right here but I don't know if there's I didn't see a cable connection at my site and I have one of those right in front of my site Continuation of this street going up that way, going that way, is just a, a dead end loop for the nature trail parking. And if you want to see that, you'll need to go to the experiential video that went live this past Sunday. Got another RV camping loop coming up. <laughs> this is the loop we're set all up on. These are all pull throughs, kind of. Thunder.
All of these pull through sites are, in my opinion, they're backwards because your your connections, have, if you pull in, you'll notice all these RVs, the, the front porch faces the street. I guess that's to force you to be a little more social. I don't know. We did it the we did it the backwards way. I parked so that I could sit on the front porch and see the bushes. This is a day use area, or not a day use, a, a primitive tent camping and day use area. There's also a really, uh, there's a boat ramp with a two laner boat ramp, two separate lanes, right over there. And that parking lot is super rough gravel, so we're not gonna visit that. There is no day use. I, I stand corrected. Primitive camping only. But it looks like some people are using it for day use. Right over there is the pull through loop that I'm set up on. So that would probably be the best site in that loop. move on over to the last and final RV camping loop. campsites go it's almost a twin of the other of the last one well the last pull through loop we we traversed the sites all in my opinion are back the upside there are some lakefront sites on this loop, kind of, 
right here. Right here are a few more. That one definitely has water access. show you. So up here on the left is that really, really rough stretch of road where the disc golf course can be found. The only other things out there are two picnic tables on the beach. Uh, it's a very littered area. And there's a vault toilet. Oh, and a trailhead. So there's a trailhead, disc golf course, a beach area with two picnic tables and lots of litter. And uh, people, someone's been cutting donuts, tearing, tearing up the grass. So now you know, we don't need to go down there. But this is the Yacht Club Cheney Sailing Center. Dedicated to promoting sailing in Kansas. There's a main reason that we came down here is to show you these sites right here on, on our right. There are five RVs. And just look at those sites. Uh, I, I don't know what it takes to get one of those sites. But those would be the premium sites here at Cheney State Park. Oh, they're always so much fun. Hey, I appreciate you riding along with me. If you found this this video to be entertaining and and possibly of value, I would really be uh, I, I would appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and blasting me out across your social media. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. I really appreciate that. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?